Morning YouTube land, Friday, April 9th. And this will be a quick video. I had somebody uh, actually request some help <clears throat> with increasing the throttle sensitivity on a 2018 Street Triple RS. Uh, that's a Triumph 765 motor. Brilliant bike. Um, it's the motor that they developed for the Moto2, MotoGP series. Um, but his complaint, question, concern was his, he came from another bike, like a, I think it was a, a Street Triple a 675 CC motor, um, which makes less power, but the, the, the throttle was a traditional cable linking between the throttle and the throttle bodies, and you, go, you got a much more direct feeling. One of the complaints of having um, ride-by-wire, by the way, uh, I always forget to mention this till the very end, and I don't know how many people watch to the very end. If you like this stuff, hit like and subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm trying to grow the channel. Don't know if I'll ever make money on it because some of my stuff is political or deals with guns and knives and stuff, which some people are interested in, but YouTube and big tech is not real happy about. So a lot of times they will demonetize people for that, but whatever, you know, if I can make something out of this and turn the channel into something cool, maybe that would be a fun side gig. So if you do like this content or any of the content, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down there on the bottom and uh, tell your friends. So now we got that out of the way. Um, so what he had said was, you know, with, with, the, with one of the complaints about ride-by-wire electronic throttle is that it doesn't always feel as direct. Some bikes are better at it than others. Some have a more linear ratio, but when you twist the throttle to 50%, you don't always get 50%. You're, you're not, there's no physical cable that's yanking open the throttle bodies and determining how much fuel goes in. You twist the throttle and it's basically like a dimmer switch. Think of it that way, like a rheostat or a potentiometer. It's kind of like a rheostat on your wall, a dimmer switch where you twist it to a certain percent, but then the computer intercepts that signal and says, all right, you're asking for 50, but based on what mode you're in, whether you're in ETV1, which is typically going to be um, your, uh, whatchamacallit, rain mode, ETV2 will be road, ETV3 will be sport. And you'll see that these values here are changing. And so what happens is you dial in 50% throttle, but maybe it only gives you 30% right here. Now, maybe in road mode, it gives you a little more. It gives you, okay, you ask for 50, I'm going to give you 43 right there. When you get into sport mode, you ask for 50, and it gives you 53. So it's basically giving you what you ask. So it, it, it all depends uh, on the bike. You know, this, this table looks a little bit different. This is 30115, so this is the base map for the, uh, whatchamacallit, for the uh, 2018 model. And as I was poking through it, I noticed they pull a lot of ignition compared to the new motor and stuff like that. But anyway, this case, this uh, question came up around the throttle mapping and uh, with those tables. And can you give it a more linear, snappier, more aggressive feel? When you had a conventional cable, you know, a lot of times people would put like an R6 instead of a one one fourth turn, you get a one sixth turn, and it was a quick throttle. It, you're not changing the house the the horsepower output of the motor. You're changing how it's delivered. How much twist do I have to give it to get the oomph that I want? Do I have to really twist my wrist a lot, or do I just give it a flick and boom, it goes? So that's what we're gonna see if we can. Um, find out what's going on here. So I'm going to go ahead, if you look at these tables, in fact, you can go ahead and pause uh, the video here and kind of look at the values and stuff. And so I'm going to look for certain things here, like, you know, where does it really start to pick up to 100? What about down here? You know, when you give it a little bit, how much is it giving you? I want to see what those numbers look like. So if I go over here, I'm going to go ahead and open 31044, which is the base map from my 2020. So let's scroll down. Those are fuel tables, vacuum pressure fuel tables. Now we're in the ignition table. See where before it was like 30 degrees of timing and mine's up here. Um, let's see. Let's go down another. All right, ignition. All right, so we're in ETV1. So this is a little bit different, I've noticed. On the older bike, in rain mode, which is what ETV1 is, uh, ETV stands for electronic throttle values, um, when I dial it up to 100 on my bike, it only delivers 100 up to 100% power up to 8,500 RPM, and then it cuts it way back. So even if I'm giving it 100 and I let it rev out, I'm getting 60% power up here. I noticed on the 2018, it went up to 100 all the way, 
Now it's doing other things. It's also turning up traction control and ABS and stuff, but mine does that as well, but they really softened rain mode in mine, maybe because it's got more min range power and it, the motor's a little bit you know, more powerful. Let's go down to road. Now see in road, it's really starting to pick up and it's giving you 100% even at 90. So that's a difference between the 2018. And then it goes up even more. When you, when you want 100 or you give it 80-ish, it's still delivering almost 90. So you can see here, if you look at these numbers, it's kind of higher than whatever you're asking for. So that to me looks like they're kind of accelerating that response. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have already screen capped these so we can do this side by side here of what does my 2020 throttle table map look like versus um, the uh, 2018. So if you look at this one up here, you can see 2.4, 3.1. You can see it only gives 100 there. Here it's down at 90. You can see it's four. The values are almost double what you see up there. It starts picking up and delivering more faster. And then you see up here, when you ask for 90, it's actually giving 100. That, that to me is actually simulating that quick turn where you may not have to give it as much of a pull to get that same uh, output as, as a quick turn throttle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test this out is I'm gonna go here to table. Now that I've got 31044, I'm not copying fuel, ignition, nothing else. These are just values for the throttle tables. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that table. I'm gonna open this up, go back to 31, or let's see, where was it? 30115 is his base map. And let's go down, scroll past the fuel, L tables, ignition, ETV, that's ETV1, that's rain mode that's sport mode and there's his uh, sport mode so i'm going to do it here is go in and paste and basically put in now nope, something didn't happen right here okay so what did we do wrong first of all is there maybe a different number of tables so maybe the throttle positions are different and so they won't transfer over all right, let's go back and let's open up. Maybe this is part of the video. Maybe you'll learn something here by my mistakes. This is one of the reasons why I do my videos the way I do. I just kind of do like a stream of consciousness and I don't script these out. I don't cut it, cut it up and edit it. If I make a, a mistake or a blooper or something, I just leave it in. I just, I just do this raw. So no, we don't want to change that map. So we want to go back and let's see. So actually, you know what? Let's load up my screenshots here and let's see what the difference is. Zero, 0.1.5 goes to 3, 4.5, 6.1, 7.6, 9.1, 12.1. These are all matching so far. Um, 15.2, All right, so that all matches. So what is different? Is it different on the RPM. Yes. Okay. So apparently I've got some extra stuff in here. 12,650. Here it drops to 12,000. There's no intermediary steps. Mine goes to 12,250, then to 12,000. <clears> All right. So a copy and paste is not going to work without a little work. Here it goes from 12. So it looks like mine in certain ranges, it goes here it goes from 12 down to 11, then to 10.5. I go from 12 to 11, 7.5 to 11.5 to 11, then to 10.50. So it looks like everything below, if we say, okay, where are the differences here? It looks like from 10.5 goes to 95, everything goes below to 500 RPM increments until 3,000. Mass, yeah, I've got 97 five, 92 fives. Okay, that's why the that's why the copy and paste didn't work. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna spend 10 minutes of waking you waking you watch me basically doing a freaking uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, editing an Excel spreadsheet that it would be tedious and boring for me to do it. I can't imagine you'll probably have a gun in your mouth by the time uh, you're done watching me do it because that's gonna be even worse. But looking at these tables, I can't do a direct copy and paste. However, I could 
go down and uh, get back to my table, which is ETV3. Leave leave rain mode alone and leave um, whatchamacallit alone. The, uh, um, uh, damn it. The, uh, uh, leave sport. You want to leave rain and, and road alone. Sport is the one you want. That's ETV3 for that particular bike. And what I will do off screen, and then I will provide to, you know, if you, if you want it, or you could just use this and do it. So the problem is I got to go back and forth and do a lot. I could probably go in and type it in, but if I have to keep opening each map and then resaving in between, it, it literally is going to take me 20 minutes just to get all these damn values in here. So what I will probably do off camera is take this table from my 31044, uh, which is for the 2020 RS. And what I will do is for each line that's here, because we're going to throw out some of these lines here because they're not relevant because they don't exist. They don't have those increments here. But for everyone that's in here, I'm probably just going to open this up and just go down the line and just type in whatever the speed, uh, the 2020 model has. That should give you a more pronounced, snappier, more aggressive throttle application. You're not changing the fueling. It's not going to change anything with the mapping or make it run weird. All it's going to do is just make the bike react to the throttle faster. When you give it 20%, it's going to give it 20%, not 17%. So it's going to feel snappier. So it's not changing power. You're not going to pick up any horsepower. You don't have to worry about, oh, do I have to get it mapped? What if I don't have the same pipe as you? None of that matters here. Just throw that out. It, it's, it's irrelevant. All you're doing is changing how the ECU, when you ask for X amount of power, how much does it give you? That's all we're talking about. That's it. So you're not going to break anything here. So I will go through and make that change. But if you're watching this, you know you now know what you need to do. You could just pause if you want. Pause this video and take a screen cap of it so that you have the variables for this. Of course, if you have Tune ECU, you can also download map 31044 and you can go in and do that yourself. And maybe you'd prefer to go back and forth and copy and paste and resave each time. It's tedious, but that's, you know, you got to get those values in. Unfortunately, there are different base maps because they are for different years. And for 2020, they added some refinement by adding in some intermediary steps to give a specific value rather than it just jumping from 12,000 to 11,000 and having it uh, interpolate. Uh, in between and basically do a guesstimate or an average. It just allows for a little more precise um, tuning with the 2020. But whatever, if you don't have those lines on yours because they exist here and not on the older one, it's okay. Just ignore it. It'll, it'll interpolate and do what your bike is supposed to do. But for all the values, we already know that the throttle positions are the same going across between both models. So what you want to do is just go and say, okay, um, 31, this is 31044, so let's just go back. Oh, wait, sorry, that's the screen cap, or I got it in the background. Uh, yeah, so on the 310 uh, for the 2020, it goes from 12.6 to 12.2 to 12,000. On, on your bike on the 2018, it goes from 12.6 to 12. So you're just going to copy in those values, and you're just going to basically ignore the 12, 20, uh, 250. So that's how this is going to work. So I'll just probably stop videoing right now and yap, and I think you understand how to do it. Um, let me know if you need help with it. Um, I may do it just for the hell of it. So if it saves somebody some trouble, uh, i got a few minutes. I can, I can knock that out for you. Uh, just email me, and I'll, I'll send you the file. But if you already have Tune ECU and you're going to be doing your own flashing, then you've got the access, frankly, to do this yourself now that you know how. But going by this... Uh, to answer your question, uh, yeah, it looks like we can give a snappier throttle in sport mode um, and give the effect of a quick turn throttle. So there you have it. Hope this helps.